Hey everyone, I wanted to uh, speak to all of you about something you may or may not be aware of. And this is just for the body of Christ in general, as you are progressing in your walk, as you're maturing in the Lord. Um, there's just some things that you need to be aware of. One thing that we should be praying for um, and, and sparing no time in doing is asking God to increase your discernment. So just recently, and I'm just going to share with you a quick testimony. Um, one of my sisters in Christ said, Hey, you really, you got to check out this, this Christian band. And as I was watching the video, I did not obey my convictions right away that were telling me there's nothing Christian about this. I was waiting for the grand finale. I was waiting for the moment when they were going to start glorifying God in their music or turning it around from a very depressing point of view to um, talking about how they overcame or came out of darkness into his marvelous light. However, that didn't happen. And the truth of the matter is I was drawn to keep watching and I, I had prayed God please um you know protect my mind if this this is no good however I need you to know something right now God is not interested in whether or not your heart is in the right place if you know that you are watching something and you are knowingly exposing yourself to the dark elements of this world then what happens next is really the consequences of your choice. So I'm going to explain to you what happened. I stopped mid video because I felt an intense, and I'm talking about an intense heaviness come over me, something like, like I haven't felt in years. And it was really bad. And I had to go out into the backyard and just immerse myself in worship and prayer for a good 45 minutes to an hour to get whatever I had just invited into my space off of me immediately. So this is what I need you to understand. As you're coming out of the world, as you're being ye separate and coming out of the world and not listening to secular music anymore and all of that, be careful. People are going to try to Maybe send you videos. Be cautious about opening up something that you don't know what it is. Or letting somebody read something to you from a book. It doesn't really matter if your spirit is, is sensitive because your spirit is joined now to the Holy Spirit. If you're sensitive to that kind of thing, you need to leave it alone. You need to obey your convictions. This is not a joke. I don't ever want to feel like that again. So then I made the devil really mad and I went on the band's website and I let people know that there is nothing Christian about this band and this was my experience. And I, I hope and pray that all of you will start really asking the Lord as you begin to watch any kind of person who is prophesying or evangelizing or saying prayers for you god is this of you does this person belong to you is this a child of god and just let him know i do not want to be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine i do not want to be deceived by those who are crafty and it's very important that you don't because they can take you down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go. So I say all that to say this. There is a reason why we are supposed to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so it's strictly up to you. I'm not going to sit there and tell you who to listen to. If you don't have any convictions right now listening to secular music. Then continue on, keeping on. But I'm just letting you know that these are the things that we open ourselves up to. And as you mature in your walk with the Lord, 
you will become more sensitive when you do. It will affect you almost immediately. It's kind of along the same lines of when you spent your whole life living off of junk food. And then all of a sudden, one day you make a conscious choice to start eating healthy. And as you're getting established in your new routine of eating healthy, there's that one day where somebody maybe invites you out to eat and you decide, well, maybe just for today, I'll drink a soda or whatever and automatically your body feels sluggish and off because that's not the norm for you. Automatically, your body is saying, what are you doing? This is junk. Well, it's the same with what you're letting into your space. If it feels like junk, it is junk. If something feels off, shut it off. Don't listen. Walk away from the conversation. It's really that simple. And I'm only saying this, it's not to sit here and give you this sharp rebuke of, you know, waving my finger at you and telling you, you got to live right. I'm telling you this because I care about you. I love you all. And I don't want you making the same mistake. So I pray this is a blessing to somebody. Again, everybody who knows that they don't have the gift of discernment, pray. As a matter of, matter of fact, be really bold and pray for a double portion of discernment in this next season. We're going to need it.